What up guys, Deep3 here with another <clears throat> Deep3 Reviews. And today we're going to be opening up one of the most anticipated sets uh, for Pokemon. And it is these EV Heroes packs. I bought them from a booster box at my local card shop instead of going for the uh, box itself. But there are two products out there, the promotional collection box as well as the booster box. I decided to go old school and pick out five packs from the booster box to test my luck. You know, run that childhood feeling of just picking out candy from the candy store. And we will see how we do. Uh, on screen, I will show you all of the uh, amazing hits that we are aiming for. Primarily the alternate arts. They are insane. Each Eeveelution has their own alternate art and they all look great. And VMAX, this is going to this is an Eevee crazy pack. Cannot wait for this set to come out in English. Uh, normally I wouldn't even touch a Japanese card set because I don't really collect them. But this is a very good exception. And, uh, you know, five packs here. Let's see how our luck is today. Oh, so excited. I've been watching a ton of videos and seeing people pull. The alt arts. I think my favorite is gonna be, uh, ooh, I want the Jolteon running up the wall. I know everyone else is looking at, uh, maybe like the Sylveon in the bakery, or maybe even the Umbreon, you know, commanding the Pokemon in the hood. Oh, I'm trying not to mess this up. Um, as for a card trick, I think it's just one card back to the front, right? Okay. We have one promotional card here. Uh, you can take the barcode if, if you'd like. I have no idea what it's for. It's a little math game. I can't translate it, so y'all let me know. I think it's one to the front. And let's test our luck. I see something peeking out. So that is a wonderful sound right there, or sight to see. Very trippy Voltorb. Oh man, I forgot the quality of these Japanese cards. They feel so sleek. That Voltorb looks crazy, eh? It's like a modern day art piece. Okay. Dupider. I think that's the name of that. Again, it looks like an art piece. Meryl. That is adorable. Playing with its ball in the pond. And at the end. What? We're starting off one for one. Right here. Umbreon VMAX. Let's go. One for one. We picked one already. Right out the box. That is sick. And I'm make loving it. It's a giant dark doggo. Hopefully, we still have hope for uh, something in our other packs. But, as far as this is concerned, one for one. Cannot complain whatsoever. Very cool. Next pack. And yes, you see the price tag on the pack. Seven bucks a pack is not cheap. But, uh, you know, it's all for you guys. Content for you guys to see. Who knows what the pull rates are? I don't. I know there's a minimum chance of, uh, you know, getting X amount of secret rares per box. I think it's one. The code for you guys, whatever that is. And it's a little different game there. I don't know it. But at least one to the front is easy. To, uh, figure out. We got a Marsh Tomp there. Uh, sand something. Sandagast. Mantine. Pan something. Panda. <laughs> and behind this one, it looks like something else again. Oh, it's a hollow. Alright, we'll take the hollow. I forget the name of this one all the time because they all look the same. But uh, I remember taking pictures of it in Pokemon Snap. Great game, by the way, if you guys haven't played it yet. Definitely hitting the nostalgia buttons there. But we're two for two. No complaints there. Really want to get that alternate art, though. Come on. Two for two is amazing. Two for two for what I'm looking for would be even better. Damn, these are hard to open. I wonder why. I know why now that people use scissors to open these. It is. These are not... These are not easy to open. They are sealed tight compared to uh, English sets. We're just like cracking them out as 
fast as possible over here. And uh, they're not even sealed completely. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, there we go. Uh, another one there. If you guys want it, you can pause to scan it. Don't know what it's for anyways. One, two, D. Front, can we go for three for three? Can we go deep three for three? Mylitic on the top. Electros. Meowth. Very adorable Meowth. On the green road. Okay, let's go row, row, row. Row, 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 row. And behind this one, we finally miss. I don't know. It's Wannabe Trinity Force. Okay. That's fine. On to the next one. On to the next one. This one opened a lot better. And, uh, you know, very code for you guys. Another little game thing. Oop, sorry for the camera bump. One to the front. Let's see if we hit the alternate on this one. Pincer. Mudkip, Mudkip. Zorororora. Oh! It's shiny. Oh, don't tell me it's just a hollow, though. Okay, okay. It is a hollow marsh tom. Not bad, we'll take it. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but it's an amazing art and it looks really awesome. That would be um, three out of four hits. Honestly, we cannot complain. Hitting three out of four is great. Especially when you're picking them out randomly out of a box. Really cannot complain. However, uh, that is not what we're looking for. Oh, there's a pull tab up here. Who knew? There's a little slit. I've been struggling this whole time. Japanese are smart. Okay. There we go. Okay. Nothing on the back here to repeat. Last chance for our uh, alternate, al art, alternate art. Who knows how it's going to go. V-Bass. Rotom. Smeargle. And our last pack. Do we get the last pack magic? It is another hollow Raichu! Oh my goodness. Okay, we take it. We take it. The, technically, we did amazing on pulls today. Picking them out randomly. Four out of five. So, we will be happy with that. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to see me more, uh, open more EV heroes, uh, let me know in the comments section below, of course. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video. Um, this is a very fun set to me. Can't wait for it to come out in English. And, uh, you know, you guys have an awesome day. And thank you for watching. Peace.